Hi there, my name is Ian Ponchev. I am the founder of Prepped. And in this tutorial video, I would like to introduce you to FastCatch, which is the Chrome extension we've built that allows you to save any web article to Prepped with a single click. First, let's make sure you have FastCatch installed. I'm going to visit the library application, library.prep.in. I'm currently logged out, so this is the log the login page. And you'll notice here on the right, we have a number of support resources. You can access our help center and our blog, our tutorial videos, and our Chrome extensions, FastCatch prepped offline, as well as our iPad application for Extemp. So let's click on FastCatch. This will open a new tab. And you'll notice this blue Add to Chrome button. So all you do is you click on the blue button, select Add Extension, installed. So here it is on the right, this orange trophy icon, the prepped icon, that is FastCatch. So we'll leave the Chrome Web Store. Let's go ahead and open up a news article. So this is an article from the New York Times on renewable energy in Chile, and we want to save it to prepped. So again, all you do is you click on the trophy icon, and it's going to open up FastCatch. Now I just installed FastCatch, and I'm also logged out, so it will prompt me to log in. Oops. And a few things to point out before we jump into FastCatch. So the first thing is that it'll ask me to select a team account. Uh, for most of you, you're part of one team or you have a single prepped account, so this really isn't a big deal. But if you're part of multiple teams, maybe you have different research groups or you use prepped at a summer camp and now you're using it with your school, you'll be able to select which exact team account you want to save the article to. Also. Uh, you have this little gear icon for settings. Uh, let me explain the settings options to you. So first, prompt team selection for each article. What this means, if this setting is enabled, uh, what will happen is every time you save an article with FastCatch, it will invite you to select a team to which you will save that article. Most of you are going to want to keep this disabled because you only have one team account. Um, but if you're part of multiple research groups and your research is kind of going back and forth, then you'll want to enable this so that every time you log into FastCatch, uh, you can determine which team account the article should be saved. Uh, but we'll keep this disabled for now. Second, after catching the article, what should we do? So in most cases, uh, the default option is do nothing, which means it will show you a confirmation that the article has been caught, and then at which point you can navigate throughout FastCatch. Uh, but if you want to speed up your research and your research is exclusively focused on Extemp or it's exclusively focused on Congress, you can select any one of these two options. Go to save to extent means that after the article has been caught, it'll take you straight to the extent folders and subfolders that, for which you can then save the article. Uh, or go to save to Congress will take you straight to the dockets and bills page. Um, otherwise, do nothing. It will just leave you uh, with the confirmation message and then you can navigate manually to these pages. So we'll leave the settings as is. Also, you'll note that it you know, confirms which users logged in and you can go ahead and log out. Uh, but we'll click the next button. So the article has been saved uh, to the library, just like that. Um, now, if we want to save the article to Extemp or to Congress, we can do so as well. Uh, so I'll click Save to Extemp, and it's going to pull up um, some of the folders that already exist. Uh, this article is about alternative energy in Chile, right? So let's uh, type in Chile. And it'll filter out any folders or subfolders that do not have the word Chile in the title, which in this case is all of them. So I'll create a new folder. Um, so I've got the title of the folder, which is Chile, and then I'll select Foreign, and then I'll click this plus button. And just like that, it'll create the Chile folder. And then if I want to create a subfolder, I'll click the uh, gray down arrow next to the name of the folder, and I'll type in where it says Create New Subfolders, the name of the subfolder, and then I'll click this plus button. So something else to point out, you've got this little um, trash icon. So if you made a mistake or you changed your mind, you can click the trash icon and it will delete both the folder and the subfolder. But I do want to save this, so I'll go ahead and you click the plus icon and you click save. And just like that, the article is saved to extent. 
So going back over here really quick, if you click show selected folders and subfolders, it'll show you just the folders and the subfolders that the article has. Um, all right, so that is saving it to extent. Uh, let's go to save to Congress. So again, um, we're going to look for So it looks like um, none of the particular dockets that I have saved to my account um, have energy in the title, which is okay. Uh, so we'll just pick one of the dockets here and we'll open it up and um, we'll pick a bill and then we'll save the article to that bill. So, you know, just in extent, you have folders and subfolders. In Congress, you have dockets and bills. You can search for matches or you can just manually open up each docket to see the specific bills. But you select one and it'll get saved to Congress as well. So a few more things to point out. Uh, this vertical three dot icon will open up the settings. So again, you can select the team account and then you can also uh, access the actual settings page. And then here we have uh, this view article button. So if you click on that, it'll open up a new tab and it will load the actual article that you saved. Um, there, there is a separate tutorial video on the article view itself. I would encourage you to check that out. But for now, I'll just point out that here in the bottom left, you'll see these icons. And if they're in color, it, it'll indicate that the article is saved to that specific app. So green means it's saved to the library. In the case of uh, the orange clock icon, it is saved uh, into Extemp. And uh, similarly, it's saved into, the, into Congress as well. So I'll close this out. And uh, let me just redo this with another article just to, so you can appreciate how fast and easy it is to save something with Fast Catch. So we'll open up this article about a, a diplomatic, diplomatic incident that, that's occurring in, in Cuba. And again, you just click on the prep trophy icon. With one click, it saves it straight to the library. And then you can save to extemp. We'll create the new folder for Cuba. Click Save, and then with Congress, don't have any full, any any bills that are in regards to Cuba, but we'll select a bill here as well. And just like that, it got saved to both Extemp and Congress. So that's Fast Catch. I hope you find it useful and that it'll help you become much more productive as a researcher and as a debater. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at hello at prep.in. Thank you.